I think it overall the 15 minute city concept is interesting, but we need to pay attention. And one of the big risks, actually, that we are monitoring at the moment, evaluating at the moment using big data in the United States, is that if you go too far, then you create enclaves. You create, you know, almost like the city is a collection of villages. And it's certainly what you don't want to do, because then you're putting especially people who are less well off at a disadvantage. What could be done to connect many different 15-minute neighborhoods into one big city fabric? Yeah. Think about Stockholm. You know, you got uh, the opera, you got some great museums. You cannot have all of that in every neighborhood. Clearly, they are going to be in some parts of the city. You got a great university that's in a certain neighborhood. And so we need to make sure that as citizens, we got access to all of that, even if they're beyond our 15-minute radius. For half a century, city planners have shifted from monofunctional modernism to mixed-use areas. What do you think that the future will look like? I think today, digital allows us to go one step further. You know, in a mixed-use development, you've got different functions that are next to each other, but with digital, we can overlap them on the same physical space. A very simple thing, our homes during the pandemic became offices as well. You know, we got uh, people using restaurants also as, their, as an extension of their, their office. So the digital makes us more flexible, and that allows us to go even beyond mixed-use developments into developments where the mixed-use happens in the same place. What is the primary challenge, would you say, for the urban person that city planners should focus on? The challenges in cities globally uh, today are very similar. Uh, you know, you, certainly decarbonizing cities is very, very important, looking at traffic and mobility, looking at urban segregation, we can name many others. But the solutions have to be very local, because the solutions will depend on the local context, the local climate, the local population, and also what citizens want. And actually, tomorrow's cities will have to be determined by the choice the citizens in different cities might make.